Uh, welcome to the Aquarium of the Pacific today. My name is Steve Blair. I'm Assistant Curator of uh, Husbandry and Take Care of Shark Lagoon here. Well, I want to tell you a really interesting story about a tiger shark that we were able to attain from Taiwan. Now, this is a unique situation where the tiger shark, uh, a female tiger shark, was caught and the pups were born in Taiwan and we had the opportunity to get a tiger shark baby that was captive born, which gives us a really good opportunity to try to care for one of these very difficult to keep sharks. Well, what is a tiger shark? They would be considered probably one of the big three notorious shark species. They get very large, upwards of 1,400 pounds and 14 feet long. So they get very large and they live in coastal, shallow uh, environments around the world. They're a tropical species of shark. So here at the aquarium, we had an opportunity to get a tiger shark. It was flown over by air and then by truck transport from the uh, airport to the aquarium. So today, we're going to debut our tiger shark. So what is so significant about having a tiger shark? Well, tiger sharks are very hard to keep in captivity and actually only a very few handful of aquariums in the entire world have ever successfully kept a tiger shark for short periods of time. Now we have a baby shark and they can be much more difficult to keep. We have had to try all sorts of things to keep this very visual shark off the walls of the environment that it's in. We've used striped liners inside the tank, we've used barriers inside the tank, and we've hung things around the walls of the tank, because tiger sharks have a tendency to ride the wall or not avoid the wall. So in doing so, we've managed to keep our shark healthy and happy for about three months, and she is now in Shark Lagoon in a liner. You might be able to see behind me that we do have a striped liner in Shark Lagoon. We've had to try also all sorts of varieties of food to feed our tiger shark because they are so omnivorous. They have a vast array of things they like to eat in the wild. And our tiger shark is very selective. She's very picky. She may go for a period of time and eat only mahi-mahi fillets, two or three days of that, and then she just won't eat it at all and we have to try a whole new food item. All in all, we've tried about 30 different food items for our baby tiger shark. She is growing. She's grown about 25 centimeters since we've had her, and she's added on some good weight. She now is about four and three quarters feet long and about 35 pounds, which is really nice for a shark of her age. She's about 10, mo 10 months old, so she's kind of a baby shark. Well, since so little is known about tiger sharks in the wild, this shark has become an ambassador at the Aquarium of the Pacific here in Long Beach so that people can come and see her and view her and hopefully start to change the attitude that these sharks are vicious and mean. We have a baby and she's very cute. Uh, what we hope people to, will come to see is a new kind of shark that will change their attitudes. Uh, we might even instill that sense of wonder about these animals to kids and future researchers in shark biology. Sharks are now being harvested at a rate of 100 to 150 million a year. Some of them are finned, where they're caught, their fins are chopped off, and made into shark fin soup. And the rest of the shark is totally wasted. So this is a very wasteful practice, but because sharks have a unique biology, that means they don't reproduce very fast, generally speaking, and mature very late in life. Populations of sharks are declining so fast that some people would consider about 50 species of sharks very near extinction due to over-harvesting. So we need to begin to research these animals and begin to change our attitudes about sharks. Conservation of sharks now in the wild is, is very, very critical. They change and alter the ecosystems because they are considered mostly apex predators. And because of that, they're very important parts of a healthy ecosystem. So we need to begin to conserve and protect sharks around the world. So again, as part of Shark Summer here at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, I'd like to invite everybody to come out to view our baby tiger shark, and hopefully she'll be able to change your perceptions about sharks, and you can have a great time and a great day at the aquarium here.